What's up everyone, welcome back to my top 10 setups of the day series. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. We're starting off this list with a super fun and bright setup from Femboy. Whilst it's evident this is more of a beginner setup, I really love how much character and spirit it has. The pink keyboard is a nice touch and it matches nicely with the LEDs and Kirby wallpaper, but I think it could look a little bit better with some more pink peripherals. I would also use the mounted monitor as the main display and centre the keyboard and mouse with that to help with the ergonomics of the desk. All of these critiques being said, this really is an adorable setup and I can't wait to see how the OP improves on it. Our next setup comes to us from Mint Nat, who's got this build in her freshman dorm as an international student. I'm sure most of us would have killed for a setup like this during college. Right now, she's just using her Dell laptop as her main monitor, although she said she is in the market for a new display. All of the attached peripherals are actually wireless, which helps keep the desk clean and it helps keep the mind focused while doing work or studying. On the hook to the right, you can also spot a pair of wireless Sony headphones. I really like how clean, simple and minimalist this setup is as I feel it maximizes your focus and productivity. Next on our list is this apartment build from Solace 18. Here we've got our first real dual monitor setup with an Asus monitor on the left and an Acer Predator monitor on the right. Below these monitors, we're looking at a Logitech mouse, what looks like a custom keyboard with an Orca wrist rest, and a Drop Mito Godspeed desk mat. Of course, this setup features the iconic Kalbi desktop and Alex Draws desk from Ikea, which is a desk we tend to see a lot of on these lists. I really like where this decoration is headed decoration-wise with those sick LED strips, but I would love to see some more decoration done up on the walls with either some shelves, art, or maybe even a nano leaf light. Up next is this awesome Weekend Warrior setup from user Waffle Slayer. This sweet build also features a dual monitor setup with an Asus PG34Q ultra wide monitor with a BenQ light bar, and then an Asus PG279Q monitor. Below that is some nice Logitech gear in the form of a G915 TKL wireless keyboard and a G900 mouse both of which are sitting on a super cool Mecha Kibodo desk pad. On either side of the main monitor is an Audio Engine A2 speaker, but if you prefer headphones, then they've also got a pair of Audio Technica M50Xs. On the right side of the desk is the OP's PC, in a Fantex E4 EVO gunmetal case, and featuring an Intel 8700K CPU, an Asus Max Formula X motherboard, an NZXT Kraken X62 cooler, and an Asus Strix 1080 GPU. This bright and colourful setup comes to us from IamSky74, who is clearly a fan of Dragonite. Their left side display is a Samsung monitor that's mounted on a wallet mount arm, whilst the right side monitor is actually on a Vivo monitor mount. For peripherals, they've got a G-Key 64 keyboard and Logitech G903 mouse, both coming with some fun light RGB. Keeping with the Logitech theme, they've also got a pair of Logitech Z313s. In between those speakers, you might have noticed a super cute pixelated display, which is actually a Divoom Timebox Mini, which focuses as both a clock and a speaker. This setup really shines when it comes to decorations, with the fun Funko Pops and the neon light, as well as with its awesome colour palette with everything being vibrant and rich in colour. Here we have another bright and cosy setup, this time from Nina Nitty. Whilst this is another dual monitor setup, it's a bit different from most we see here because the monitors are completely separated from each other, and one is even above the other on a riser in the corner of the desk. This sort of setup is great for situations where you work and game in the same area because in my experience it helps you separate work from play and stay focused when you need to be. The OP is also rocking a fun variety of white and pink peripherals mixed with pastel rainbow RGB that works great with the positive pastel vibe of the whole room. I also love how they've got the bookshelf above their setup as it really makes the room seem cosy and lived in. At our number 4 spot today is this slick futuristic setup from Anwi Alex. To start off we've got the double monitors with the larger of the two being a Samsung and the other being an AOC monitor. However the OP does have another Samsung monitor on the way with the intention of turning this into a triple monitor build. Below the monitors is a glorious Model O mouse and what looks to be a custom keyboard and a KBDF fan case. Speaking of cases, over to the side you'll see the absolutely gorgeous white TD500 PC case that matches perfectly with the aesthetic of this build and adds some nice light into the room. 
This super neon build comes to us from Rafa Kai. The highlight of this setup is that super unique Drop Karina keyboard kit that looks amazing with the pink and blue RGB, and it matches perfectly with the Rez mouse and the X-Ray Aqua Control mouse pad. On the left side of the desk is a bit of a smaller tower than we're used to seeing with the Cooler Master NR200 case. All of this awesome gear is perched on top of an autonomous Smart Desk 2 that actually appears to be in the standing position. Keyboard lovers should get excited about this next setup from Ivory Kavok. While they have a huge variety of keyboards that they cycle in and out of use, in this photo they are currently using a GMK TKL keyboard with lubed Xelios V2 switches and pudding keycaps. Keyboards aside, they've got a super impressive 4 monitor setup that should be perfect for just about any amount of work or gaming. This build also features some really fun lighting with a complementary mixture of blue LEDs and that awesome yellow pineapple neon sign. Last but certainly not least is this creative battle station from Munch30. Here we've got a triple monitor setup with the biohazard wallpaper and fitting caution tape decoration. With an overclocker's UK desk mat, a Corsair mouse as well as what looks to be a Corsair keyboard. Over on the right side of the photo is that imposing Corsair Graphite 780T case which also has caution tape accents on it to blend in with the rest of the build. Using the caution tape for decoration is a super creative move and I would love to see more stuff like this added to the walls to help sell the theme and elevate the build. All in all this is a super creative, unique and impressive setup. And that's the end of the list, check out our description for a list of a lot of the gear that I've mentioned in the video. If you want to see more of these incredible setups, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below on which setup you think should have been number one.